Humans have been conducting elaborate rituals following the death of loved ones since prehistoric times. While there are many methods of funerary rites, one specific style of burials has been found in ancient cultures all around the world, from the Japanese islands to North America. Burial mounds provide a way to commemorate the lives of individuals that are significant to a community without disrupting the flow of nature which surrounds it. They've been called by many names over the centuries, including Tumulus, Barrow, Cairn, and Kurgan. No matter what term is preferred, their existence can offer a lot of insights into the culture and religious beliefs of ancient peoples across the globe. The Kofun period of Japan lasted from 300 to 538 AD and was named so after the Kofun mounds found throughout Japan. The largest of these mounds is the Daisen Kofun, which was built for Emperor Nintoku in the late 4th century. The enormous complex took more than 20 years to complete, and it stretches across an astounding 110 acres and is one of several mounds located in modern-day Sakai in Osaka, Japan. Though only recently rediscovered, the mausoleum of Emperor Chen in China is perhaps one of the most well-known burial mounds. The famous terracotta warriors were found inside the large complex. The approximately 44-acre mound has only been partially excavated, so there are sure to be many more historical treasures revealed in the future. According to the ancient Chinese text Records of the Grand Historian, the tomb was built for Emperor Chen in 246 BC after conquering six surrounding states. It was said that it took 700,000 men to excavate and build the mound, and that it contained many great treasures, including a mechanically controlled mercury river that simulated the Yangtze and Yellow Rivers and their tributaries. It took nearly 38 years to complete, and afterwards all the concubines and workers were trapped inside to avoid anyone revealing the secrets of its contents or whereabouts. Kurgans have been discovered in areas of Eastern Europe and the Caucasus dating as far back as the 4th millennium BC. Various cultures have practiced Kurgan burials, including the Scythians, Sarmatians, Huns, and Turkic peoples. The area with the highest concentration of mounds in this region can be found near modern-day Kazakhstan, Ukraine, and along the Don and Volga rivers. A large number of these gravesites have contained the bodies of female warriors and could belong to the infamous Amazons of legend. There have been 19 tumuli discovered in the Golan Heights area of Israel. While many of them have not been thoroughly excavated, some have unearthed interesting artifacts such as the LMLK seals thought to have been made during the reign of King Hezekiah. So far, only two formal surveys of the sites have been conducted, one by Gabriel Barque in the early 1980s and William Foxwell Albright in 1923. If more archaeological digs are performed, it could provide insight into the mysterious kings of biblical history. If you travel to modern-day Turkey, you can visit some popular tumuli constructed by ancient Anatolian civilizations. Ben Tepler is a Lydian mound located in the Aegean. Its enormous size makes it appear to be more of a mountain than a mound. It measures nearly 100 acres across and 226 feet high, and is rumored to be the resting place of the Lydian king Aliates, who reigned from 619 to 560 BC. However, in this one location, there are more than 75 mounds, all of which are sure to contain the remains of other famous Lydian rulers, like Gyges and Croesus. Other burial sites exist in the region of Gordium, one of which is thought to be the tomb of King Midas, as well as Mount Nimrut, which belongs to the Armenian king Antiochus I, who died in 38 BC. Macedonia also has many tumuli, some of them commemorating powerful historical figures like Philip II and Alexander IV, the father and son of Alexander the Great. Other famous Grecian mounds include the site of Agamemnon in Mycenae and the recently excavated Casta tomb in Amphipolis. Thousands of Slavic, Illyrian, and Thracian tumuli exist throughout Eastern Europe in Croatia, Bulgaria, Serbia, Hungary, and Bosnia. Some were formed as early as the 2nd millennium BC, while others are much more recent. Many burial mounds were also created in Western Europe, particularly in Germany, Belgium, and France. Examples include tombs of Gallo-Romans and Merovingian royalty. Scandinavia boasts several mounds as well. In the Inglinga Saga written by Snorri Sörlesen in 1225, he states that Odin himself established a law that required all men be burned on a pyre, and his ashes cast into the sea or buried in the earth. Whatever treasures were burned or buried with them would remain with them in the afterlife. Therefore, men of renown were buried in great mounds so their communities could remember them. And warriors worthy of honor were given a standing stone. In Gamla Uppsala in Sweden, you'll find three barrows that are said to contain the remains of Thor, Odin, and Freyr. Denmark has more than 20,000 mounds, and excavations in Norway have discovered multiple large tumuli with Viking ships inside them. 
There are also several mounds located in the British Isles. Dozens of barrows exist in Orkney, Yorkshire, Oxfordshire, Sussex, and Suffolk. However, two of the most famous tumuli of Britain are in Ireland. Bruna Boyne, or the Boyne Valley Tombs, are in County Meath. The Neolithic mound houses various tombs, hinges, and standing stones, and was built sometime between the 35th and 32nd centuries BC. The second mound is the Hill of Terra, and was the designated location where the High Kings of Ireland were coronated. It was said to be constructed by the mythic Tuatha de Danann before the arrival of the Milesians. Yet, it continued to be used by the kings of Mead, who also coronated their leaders on the Lea Fale and remained the capital of Ireland until after the death of the last High King, Malachi Mac Mulrooney, who died in 862 AD. Mound-building cultures also existed in North America and can be found in regions near the Ohio River Valley, Great Lakes, Mississippi River, and as far south as Louisiana. The creators of these tumuli were the Adena, Hopewell, and Calusa cultures, who not only built structures for their dead, but also used the mounds as a flood-proof platform for their homes and public gathering spaces. Some of the largest mounds can still be visited today, like the 1,330-foot-long Serpent Mount in southern Ohio and the Monks Mound in Collinsville, Illinois. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. I would love hearing about any burial mound sites you visited. Feel free to tell us about it in the comments below. Also, don't forget to share, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you don't miss future videos.